Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. Thanks for subscribing, because if you do, we finally hit over 2,000 subscribers, super stoked, uh, because we are that much closer to hitting 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. That's a huge stretch goal. I really hope I can get there, but super excited to have 2,000 of you sort of going along this journey of learning about WordPress, plugins, services, themes, that kind of thing. Uh, so thanks for being here. What are we gonna learn today? Today we're gonna take a look at membership plugins, and more specifically, probably the best free membership plugin at least that I've come across uh, in my last five to eight years of helping people build WordPress websites. It's called Paid Memberships Pro. Uh, you can get it at paidmembershipspro.com. We'll talk about the pro version in a minute. There's a free version over on wordpress.org. In today's video, we're gonna set that up and show you how to use it, sort of give you a quick overview, um, and uh, just show you how to set up a free membership site. I know a lot of folks who are always asking me, what's the best membership plugin that I should use for my website? And of course, for full disclosure, one of the sponsors of this channel is uh, Restrict Content Pro over from Pippin's Plugins. And um, not, not only is he a sponsor, but I also feel like it is a great paid membership plugin. Um, and specifically when you're using the rest of his products. So Affiliate WP, Easy Digital Downloads, of course, they all work great together because they're all built by and supported by the same team. Uh, paid Memberships Pro being free, there is no charge, right? Restrict Content Pro, you have to go and pay for it. You can't download it for free. Uh, paid Memberships Pro, you get the core of it for free and you get a lot in that core. We're gonna talk about that in a moment. Uh, and uh, you can buy add-ons, right? So if you want add-ons and support, you go ahead and you pay for that over here on the pricing page. Starts at free, obviously, you've been saying that forever. PMP Pro Core for 97 bucks, PMP Pro Plus for 197, uh, and it gets you sort of all of these things. You can come right over to the site and check that. I'm not gonna go line by line on this site, of course. Let's go ahead and dive into the site. I've already installed it, I've already activated it. I've already set up one plan on my site called the Bronze Plan. We're gonna look at uh, all of these different pieces of the plugin in a moment, uh, but it was no fuss to installing and setting up. You search for Paid Memberships Pro, you click on Install, you hit Activate, you're done, and here we are at the page. I've created my first version, or excuse me, my first membership level. I called it the Bronze Plan, and I'm just gonna go through these pages, uh, give you an understanding of what all these pages and tabs sort of have under them, so you can kind of understand how to use Paid Memberships Pro on your website. Like many other membership plugins, you name it, you give a little description, you give a little confirmation message when somebody signs up, that kind of thing. For this case, I gave it a zero dollars. I wanted to have a free plan, and if you want free, you just put in zero bucks. If you want to have it paid, you can put in whatever price you're looking for. There's a lot of stuff included in the core. I hinted at this before. There's a lot of free... Um, membership plugins that you have to go and buy all these add-ons to get things working, which again is totally fine if the add-on works for you. But Pay Memberships Pro gives a lot uh, free in the core. One of them being recurring billing, right? That's a huge part of monthly memberships or annual memberships um, is getting that recurring billing going for your customer. It's just a click of a button and you don't have to install any other add-ons. Just click that and you can set up your billing amount and then set it up per week, per month, per year. Uh, pretty awesome stuff. Um, you know, little trial period too if you want. So if you wanted to have a little uh, trial amount, a uh, little, you know, smaller dollar amount, 99 cents, uh, try it for, you know, uh, the first payment or something like that. Uh, kind of cool to have these little, uh, little customization option in there. Moving right along, you set up uh, how long this this plan expires for or runs for. In this case, just as an example, I set up a 30-day membership. This is only going to run for 30 days. It's the free membership. Uh, so maybe somebody can register on the site and sort of see some free content. And then if they want, if you want to upsell them, you can get them into another plan uh, by having them subscribe, that kind of thing. Kind of cool. Um, content setting, what categories you can uh, give people access to. It doesn't have to be uh, specifically a category. And you'll see in a little bit, we can set these up per individual page, that kind of thing. And then you just hit save level and that's it. And then, then this sort of membership level uh, dashboard gives us the overall view of all of our plans, um, the billing details, you know, how much these cost per month or per year, that kind of thing, when they expire, and our signups uh, active and open. And uh, if you wanna make another plan, you hit copy, rename it, silver, make all your changes, hit save, Boom, done, you've created another plan and you just moved on, move on down the chain making your membership, uh, making your membership pages. 
Okay, so one step that I actually already took care of uh, before showing you was setting up all of these pages. Uh, there's just a quick button that you click, a little short code, or excuse me, a little short cut link. Uh, when you click that, it just goes right through the page here and creates all of these pages for you. And then you can, uh, then you don't have to worry about sort of setting up individual short codes on each page, but you do have that option. You know, if you didn't want a uh, membership account page to be created by Paid Memberships Pro, you could just simply copy the short code, drop it on any page. Or if you wanted to use the short code on multiple pages, maybe people can access their account on different pages, that kind of thing. You can grab that short code and do that. But it's a nice little quick um, shortcut that Paid Memberships Pro does for you, sets up all these pages. You don't have to do that. A lot of plugins do that, but it's sort of a nice to have that all set up. And we're gonna revisit this in a little bit and sort of take a look at these pages so you can understand the flow of Paid Memberships Pro. Uh, Payment Gateway in SSL tab, Again, speaking of all of the stuff that Paid Memberships Pro includes in the free version, uh, it's, it's, it's quite tremendous <laughs> to steal a phrase from somebody else. Uh, you can kind of go through and see all of the uh, membership, or excuse me, all the payment gateways that are available here. Stripe, PayPal Express, PayPal Pro, Authorize.net, Braintree, 2Checkout, Cybersource. A lot of other uh, membership plugins will actually charge you separately for these uh, these as add-ons, right? They'll charge you for, especially for Stripe, um, to get a little uh, little money out of you to set up a Stripe gateway. But that's all included for free in Paid Memberships Pro, so that's a nice touch. Um, and the sandbox and testing is a great feature too, because we all need to sort of test the transactions before we go live. Um, you know, if you're working with clients, you want to test these things out with them. If you're in your organization setting up a membership site, it's always great to test these things um, for beginning to end to make sure that it's all sort of the the work flow that we all know um, that we're looking for. And of course, you can change your currency, which credit cards um, that you accept uh, on your website, sales tax, um, and then some SSL settings here for your uh, checkout pages. Again, super nice that they include all of these uh, payment gateways right out of the box. Let's take a look at the email tab. The email tab is going to be where you configure um, where the email comes from, who it's labeled as, what the email address is, and then what actions create a, uh, a an email to go out. You know, somebody who checks out and they buy a new membership, that's an obvious one. Um, anybody who changes things on the admins, membership level side, cancellations, that kind of thing, all that stuff will sort of shoot out uh, and you can kind of control uh, who that from name is and from email address right here. Taking a look at the advanced tab, this is where you have some of this text that can be um, displayed when people aren't a member, right? So if they're logged in and not a member yet, show them this. If they're not a member at all and they're uh, not logged in, show them that, that kind of thing. If they're subscribed to an RSS feed and your uh, protected content comes through an RSS feed, what does it, what does it show if they're not a member? Um, that kind of thing. I really do wish there was like a little uh, formatter here, a little sort of uh, tiny MC editor, uh, because you know, for those of us who aren't familiar with HTML, uh, you have to go in and kind of know that if you want to link things up or uh, maybe just make a more uh, convincing message with uh, bold or, or different header tags, that kind of thing. So that would be nice to do that here. Uh, but in either case, it's nice to have these options here and you can go ahead and configure that stuff. The add-ons page, which will give you the whole range um, of available, uh, add-ons from Paid Memberships Pro, either the free ones that are on wordpress.org or the paid ones, which is coming from uh, the license key that you would buy. You would just come in here and update your license key and that would give you access to whatever uh, add-ons your license level gets you. Um, but again, one of the things is, let me just search for MailChimp, just another sort of can't believe they give so much <laughs> phrase for Paid Memberships Pro. Um, you can get the MailChimp add-on uh, right from wordpress.org for free. Where again, I know a lot of membership plugins are charging not only for the payment gateway, but also for the recurring billing and for you know uh, MailChimp because it's a super popular newsletter platform. You get all that stuff for free with Paid Memberships Pro, which is great, uh, especially if you're on a budget or your client uh, is on a budget. So now we're gonna dive into taking a look at some of the pages and what the front end experience looks like with Paid Memberships Pro. Starting with the account page, I'm gonna open this up in another tab here. You can see here, I can't see the actual account page until I actually sign up 
uh, to one of these one of these um, membership levels. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick the bronze plan. I'm gonna hit select. This is the checkout page. So now it's telling me that I'm, uh, you've selected the bronze plan. Uh, this is the bronze plan. This would be my description that I set up in the back end, right? So if I wanted to have you know, something a little bit more enticing, a little bit more descriptive here, I would put that there. And the price of the membership is $0, right? Because it's free. Uh, and the membership expires after 30 days. And it tells me I'm logged in with my username. If I wanna log out and try a different username or register with somebody else, I can do that. If not, I can just submit and confirm. That's gonna go ahead and hit process. It's gonna confirm. And this is another page that you can customize. You can customize the mem membership confirmation page and have it, excuse me, have it read whatever you want, add a video, photos, whatever. Uh, but now we'll click on view your membership account. Now it brings me to what is really my account page. And you can see that um, at any point, somebody can log in see their account page, see what uh, membership plans they're paying for, when does it expire? So again, this is uh, 30 days, so it's gonna expire on May 11th, 2017. I can renew it, I can change it, I can cancel it. As a user, I can click on these options and do that. If I wanted to change uh, my membership levels, I could click on the, um, see the other options in memberships and say, well, maybe I wanna switch to the silver plan and I could do that as well. So that was pretty cool. Let's go back to your account. Um, and then, of course, past invoices. This is a free membership plan, so there won't be any uh, dollar amounts there, but I can always click on this, print this out if I wanted to. Um, again, very nice feature to have, especially on a free membership plan, to have invoices that people can download to PDF or print out, that kind of thing. Um, not always available in all uh, membership plugins. Taking a look at how Paid Memberships Pro sort of gives you the option to lock down certain pages and posts, you can see right here on this page, under the Require Membership um, meta box, you can see Bronze Plan and Silver Plan. All, all somebody has to do is go ahead and click that, and it could be multiple, so you could have access to both um, on a page level. You can just simply click on that, hit Update, and this page will be locked into only uh, the member that is, uh, or the membership level that has access to this page. Otherwise, it's going to read, it's going to give you that message that says you're not a member. Please go ahead and sign up here, that kind of thing. Um, so super straightforward, super easy. Um, I know that this is one of those things where uh, membership plugins sort of all differ in their take. Um, I mean, it's very, it's a very sort of subjective thing on how the developer wants you to uh, lock down a piece of content. Uh, I know, for ex example, Restrict Content Pro has some conditional stuff in there, uh, and you can also go by priority. So even if somebody is in the bronze plan, you could actually shift the priority of their membership um, depending on other sort of conditions uh, within the membership site. So I know things can get super granular or just super broad and, and fairly straightforward like Paid Memberships Pro does. It all depends on uh, how you have your membership business structured. So I just wanted to point that out. And you, you, again, you can go ahead and do that on any page or post. Or if you just have a collection of blog posts that you want to only give out to your um, paying customers, you just categorize that bronze, silver, gold, um, and give those blog posts that category. And then within the memberships level uh, screen, we'll just go ahead and click on edit. And then you would just select that category uh, from this list. Super easy, super straightforward. It all depends on how much content you have and how you plan on sort of structuring that stuff. Um, again, Paid Memberships Pro, you can check them out at paidmembershipspro.com. Check out the pricing for their pro plan. You get access to all of their uh, 45 additional add-ons. I'll go ahead and click that link. You get the plus add-ons all listed uh, right here. Donations, uh, developer toolkit, auto renewal checkout at, uh, at membership, uh, auto renewal checkout checkbox at membership checkout, uh, access to their support forums. Uh, you know, it's definitely worth the value of paying for this uh, level of license, especially if you're running a business, right? And you need that support. You know, you, you don't have a developer to go in here and change code or debug things for you. That's why you own the licenses like this and all of the new features coming out in the future. It's PluginTut.com, YouTube.com slash PluginTut. Again, thanks for everybody who subscribes to the channel. Uh, now over 2,000. Really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video.